Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow edamame in Aero Garden Bounty. This is a bush variety. Edamame plants can grow up to 4 feet, but let's see how it will work in Aero Garden Bounty. Germinating the seeds directly in Aero Garden Basket is nearly impossible. The seeds will get spoiled very quickly. So I am going to make the seedlings in my seed starting tray. In this process, First, I am going to soak the seeds for 24 hours. I have this 12 cell seed starting tray. My plan is to grow only 3 to 4 plants in Aero Garden Bounty. But since I don't know the germination rate, I am going to try making the seedlings in all 12 cells. For that, I am going to soak 12 seeds. I hope I will get at least 3 seedlings. Alright. I will keep it aside for 24 hours. Alright, the seeds have been soaking for 24 hours. I have some wet coconut coir ready. I am filling the cells with coco coir. Now place the seeds. Now cover the seeds with coco coir. Just a very thin layer. That's it. Now place the lid and uh, keep it aside. It's been four days. I got one seed germinated well. And it looks like two more plants coming here and here. I already started seeing some mold forming here. so. This seed is definitely gone. Looks like the rest of the seeds also gone as I don't see any signs of germination. This is a problem I saw many times with edamame seeds. They have extremely low germination rate. That's the main reason I started with 12 seeds. Still I got only one seedling and uh, I am hopeful on two more. But rest of them are pretty much gone. I have no hope on these. So now I am going to transplant this seedling to my Aero Garden Bounty and wait for the remaining two seedlings. So I'm gently pulling this. I see a nice root and some small roots on the sides. I will wash this and bring it back. I broke the seedling as I'm washing it. But let's see if it will survive. So I'm just opening the sponge so that I can place the seedling. Alright, now I am placing it in Aero Garden, I am just placing a cover, oops, I broke the seedling, so now this is pretty much no use, I am going to trash it. I am thinking that I can take out these plants and uh, try to see if I can transplant them. The seeds got mushed up so badly, it's so slimy, so yucky. But uh, let's see if I can get the seedling. Yeah, look at this. So, not sure if this is going to work, but I will just wash it and uh, place it in Aero Garden and give it a try. Looks like this seedling might work as well. Oh, this got twisted so much. Let's see if I can place it in Aero Garden sponge and uh, see if it's going to work. I can see a little leaf here. I'm going to wash these two seedlings and come back. Alright, I cleaned up the seedlings. Now I'm going to transplant these. I could wait a little longer for these seedlings to develop more leaves. But um, since the seeds are getting mushy and spoiling the seedling, I want to take it out and I also want to start feeding these plants as soon as possible. Hopefully these two will survive. I just noticed that one more seedling is coming here. Let me take this out and see.
see the ceiling it all mushed up and slimy already see how sticky it is I'm going to wash this and transplant this one as well and see if it can survive let me just check if there are any more seedlings coming so no hope look at this slimy this is the problem with many seeds and edamame is even more bad Ah, uh, look at this this is so ugly that's it none of them survived I'm going to trash this whole thing and uh, start few more seeds in a separate seed starting tray I'll fill the water and I will add nutrition I will add aerogode nutrition as recommended which is 12 ml for this bounty let's see my luck I'm soaking few more seeds I believe the problem is because of the super wet coco coir next time when I place the seeds I'm going to keep the coco coir pretty dry since the seeds are well soaked I don't really need to keep the coco coir super wet let's see I'm going to experiment and uh, see what's going to happen all right the seeds have been soaking for 24 hours now I have a slightly wet coconut coir this is like powder I squeezed out all the water now I'm going to use this to start the seeds now I'm placing the seeds that's it I will leave it aside it's day 6 one seedling survived finally the other two seedlings I don't see any development so they are pretty much gone so I have one seedling survived out of three seedlings from the new batch of seedlings I see two nice seedlings coming here they opened up pretty nice and I can see the leaf here pretty much same thing on the second seedling I see one more seedling coming here but it's not quite ready yet so I'm going to wait for this one but I will transplant these two seedlings today here are the seedlings they're looking very nice they have nice root system as well these seedlings are pretty hopeless but I will give them another two to three days it's day 12 both seedlings established very well they started developing real leaves the first seedling that survived from my first batch of seeds still alive but it's not showing any good progress I see the real leaves started developing it is extreme slow progress this seedling is definitely four to five days older than these two plants but uh, these two plants are much bigger than the old plant but I will keep it going as long as it survives I don't see any more germination one seed germinated but spoiled very badly the other seeds just spoiled I don't see any signs of germination I'm done with this seed starting efforts I will just continue with these three plants hopefully this will survive even if it doesn't survive I will continue with just two plants it's day 17 the seedlings are growing excellent in fact they are plants now I see a lot of new development there are multiple leaves and I also see multiple branches are being developed I see that on both plants the very first plant is still running behind but it has new development let's see it will catch up 31 the plants are growing excellent they are more than one feet tall the first plant is still lagging it's doing fine just growing slow looks like I'm getting the pods these are looking like pods I see a bunch of them now all over the plant it's day 32 the plants are doing excellent as I was guessing I'm getting uh, flower birds here they are super small but I can clearly see they are 
flower birds now. It's day 37. The plants are growing excellent. They are little over one feet tall. I see lot of flower birds. I thought they are going to bloom, but uh, surprisingly, there is no blooming like other bean plants. I started seeing edamame. So, um, looks like these are not the flower birds. These are in fact flowers. After this stage, they are simply drying up and I am seeing edamame. Something like this. I am very excited to see them coming. The plant in the center is still small, but I see similar behavior on this plant as well. I saw some flower birds, they started drying up and looks like I am getting edamame here as well. Not sure if this plant can still produce edamame. This is very small and looking slightly weak compared to the other plants, but let's see. It's day 44, the plants are doing excellent. I see a couple of bean pods. They are looking very nice. I feel like they are growing really fast. You can see the beans inside these pods. So this is all going really amazing. It's day 46. The edamame pods are growing very nice. I have a bunch of them. Even the little plant that is struggling to grow also has one edamame pod growing here. I see some more coming. It's day 50. The edamame pods are growing very nice. I have a bunch of them growing very nice. Even the edamame pod on the smallest plant is also growing very nice. The plant is still very small. It is about 6 to 7 inches and it has a nice pod growing and a couple of more pods coming up. This plant also has a lot of edamame pods growing. The plant is still producing uh, flower birds and they are turning into new beans. So these plants are not stopping anywhere. So it's all going really amazing. Looks like the beans also growing inside very well. I can feel them. But I'm not going to harvest yet. Let's see how big these beans can grow. It's day 59. I see a couple of pots are well developed. So it's time to harvest them. I'm going to harvest all the pots that are well developed. Just for fun, I'm opening the pod right on the plant. Wow, look at this beautiful seed. Wow, it's time to give it a taste test. Wow, these are super tasty. I don't even need to steam them. They are very sweet. Wow, this is amazing. I can eat them straight. No need to steam. I always love to eat the food raw. And this is perfect for that. My little one is helping me here. Oh, these pots are very strong. Mm. 
here is my little harvest this is not huge it's very little but that's pretty good you want to open it yeah go for it okay let's see if you can open it <laughs> can you break this part daddy uh -huh. it's hard <laughs> this this yeah, part it's hard. pretty hard Wow! Ah, look at these seeds. They are so They're looking like twins. <laughs> yeah. Twinsies. Want to try this? Ready, yeah. Give them a taste test. Yeah. Okay, sure. Give it a taste test. Mmm. They like snappy. Mmm. Can I eat more? Of course. Go for it. It's day 62. Some more pots are ready. I can see pretty good uh, seeds. So I'm going to harvest these pots. I don't see any new pots coming up these days. I still see the flowers but the flowers are just drying up. And they are falling off. I think it is because the plants already have a lot of bean pods developing. They must be taking all the energy. So I am going to harvest most of these pods and see if any of the new flowers will turn into beans again. Here is my second harvest. Again a couple of pods. And the plants still have a bunch of pods. They are not ready yet. I am going to give them a little more time. But uh, it's always good to harvest as they are ready, so that the energy won't be wasted. It is day 65. I see some more edamame pods ready. So as I'm harvesting, they are growing really fast. Overall, I am very happy with this experiment. Germination was very challenging. As it is challenging me, I was getting more and more disparate and I finally grown edamame. Yield wise, this is not a super great yield, but I got decent amount of edamame. So I'm pretty happy with it. I have grown only two plants in this bounty and one of them didn't do well. But I think we can definitely grow up to four plants. So next time I'm going to start this garden with four plants. That is all for now. Hope the germination tips I have shown in this video are helpful to you and you will give edamame a try in your aero gardens. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.